Hi, welcome. This video is about fixing your computer. Fixing a, a computer can always be done on Arch Linux. The only thing you need to remember are a few words. Arch, Shroot, and there are probably other videos um, that you can find about it. It's an Arch Linux thing. It's an, so it's an Arch, an Arch Linux thing as well, right? So Arch Shroot. And um, you can have a look at all the things people say, but maybe not found. Uh, something else script no such file package yeah mm. there's no really a good text in here so remember it's on the article linux d website article linux d and there you'll find 10 use the power of arch root the arch way of uh, fixing things and it's in here you can always repair arc linux a band-aid or your hard disk I don't think you better do that that nice image i thought back in the days right so use the power of our shroot when your computer crashes and i've just fixed my computer and this is an arclinks b and i thought maybe it's um, something i did or installed or an update or anything like that but the, i know now what it was but let's go over the thinking process that's the most important thing it's not and i'm not uh, teaching to students here's the button press the button button will fix things no uh, you have to think because the, the button is always a different button <laughs> so analyzing thing, things are important and um, first of all knowing that you can fix any system out there is great that's already hopeful that you can fix things now it's the knowledge you acquire so there are already uh, some videos and some text over here and what i'm gonna do is actually do it right actually boot up and that's why we're recording on a samsung and the sound will be a bit strange and all that and resolution will be off and that's okay we want to share you knowledge so the system is black so restart the system is black i boot up with an arch linux iso it's in there you can boot up with an Arch Linux ISO. The thing is, Arch Linux is TTY and black. Arch Linux is graphical and nice. It has a Firefox and has a Vivaldi. And you Google and you find your solution in your life environment. So we're booting up like any normal day. We are going to install Arch Linux, but no, we're not. We're going to fix the current SSD. That's what I did a few hours ago in the meantime because this is my fifth attempt always somebody coming in and then noise on the street and i said oh my god again and again and again so another try what we're going to do is a control alt t that's one what we're going to do is maybe start graphical g parted this is my system you need to analyze your system you know i keep it kiss keep it simple and stupid you won't find me eight operating systems on one hard drive i won't do it it's frustrating it will break at some point in time that's it so just one operating system we have an sda1 fat32 300 megabytes and that's for the efi boot efi this one is SDA2, it's a big chunk, so probably it's gonna be root, right? There is no home and there is no swap, there is nothing, a 16 gigabyte of RAM. Why would I use swap, right? It's never full. So, that's interesting. You, you can do the same like this. SDB is my USB, so never mind that one, but SDA2, is the big chunk and this very small thing is even smaller i mean 300 megabyte compared to 500 gigabyte it should be just a line right but okay sda1 sda2 that's what you need to know then what did i do i mounted these things so there are devices device sda1 etc I mount, well, no, no, <laughs> first I set my keyboard, so I have Azerty and not Querty. Okay, first things first. Then I'm going to mount a particular device called 
SDA2. That's my root. Inside MNT. So it's just a folder in my my virtual system here, my, my life system, right? It's it's not it's a life system, simple as that. So I'm mounting a partition, a piece of hardware inside a temporary file that's in the memory slash mount. Okay, cool. That's that. Oh. Well, if you're on Arch Linux, then there is no uh, sudo, then you are already root. This is a system where you need to be sudo. Okay, that's done. Maybe a good thing to have a look around. File system. We are doing, 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 where are you? The mount, here it is. That's what we've done. Because of us, this line, this happened. Okay, cool. So I can get my stuff like this as well and put it on a USB stick. Yeah, you can do that like that as well. But that's not the point in this video. The point is I want to leave everything where it is and it needs to be fixed. So we ended up with a black screen and a cursor, a little line in the top left. Blink, 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 blink. And it's light DM. It's grub light DM Linux and then plasma. I would probably gonna name it like that. Maybe Linux a little bit earlier. Earlier, but those are the main partners, so a system can boot. All right, let's go on. So sudo <coughs> mount device SDA one. That's the device where boot is, and I'm going to add it to boot. EFI nothing. Boot EFI enter. I don't think F5. Yeah, F5 is working. So suddenly, because I did this line, there is something inside boot EFI. So this partition, the FAT32 thing, is now in here. We can boot. Yay! We need this because, of course, that's a partition, that's an element of your system to be able to boot. So you need to mount it. If you're in Grub, that's something else. This is an EFI system. Okay. What else? If you mounted all that, you need to be in control of the system we're now looking at, this system. We need to go in there. You'll say, Eric, you are in there. Yeah, with the file manager. But I need to go inside as it's going to be the only system ever. And that's arch root and then mount, MNT. Go inside the folder mount as arch root. Okay, always forget that. All the videos I've made, I forgot it. Sudo. Oh, with a space, please. And that's powerful. Things changed. Here, I'm live user. Here, I'm root. That's important, right? So, go. I'm going to put you a little bit up here. Otherwise, it's going to be not so good for my video. I'm pressing Alt now. Maybe it's a trick you don't know yet. So the keyboard, the left Alt I'm pressing and the right mouse click does this. And also this. All right, so that's right, sorry, left Alt next to the space bar and right mouse click on the mouse. So I'm in there. This is my system that is crashing. This is the blue, the, the black screen with the cursor. So the first thing I did, let's think back, is update. That's the first thing I did. I did find, yeah, I've made a tutorial about variety. That's why it's now working. <laughs> and that's why it says now, hey, we have a newer one than community. So we are one version ahead of Arch Lakes. Basically, that's what this is saying. Community has this version and I have this version. So that's okay. It's not a warning. It's a we're better. <clears throat> so the thing is, I updated the system. It was one gigabyte. I said, oh my god. Okay. Wait after the, everything is done. Check out also the mirror list and see where it came from. Osbeck is a good server for me. So that's cool. If it was not a good server, I put a hashtag in front of it. It's not going to be used anymore and I save it. Right. But that, that was not uh, an issue. So after updating, again, black screen, 
on the cursor. Cool, okay, another challenge. And then we did the following. Yeah, I was I had recorded everything, but hey, it, it uh, stopped at 30 minutes or so. That's the max it can do. And I did not see that. So what we did afterwards is think about maybe it's the kernel. So sudo pacman minus s I installed the Linux kernel. Okay, that takes a while. And maybe you were using the Linux LTS, maybe you were using the Zen and the Harden, so change kernel and see if that helps um, that you're rebooting again. That might be the trick. Then we reboot it again, still no go. And I said, maybe it's grub that still needs to do something. Maybe it's not updated for whatever reason, because grub is of course important. The lines that we boot up into should be there and should point to the correct uh, places. <laughs> Otherwise you get very strange errors that sometimes we see that people have these errors. It's, it needs to point to the correct folder, the correct Linux kernel and all that. So after the reboot again, I did an update grub. We can show you that already, alias update grub. Thinking might be this. So this is our way of sudo grub make config minus o slash boot grub grub cvfg. It's, I tend to forget that. So update grub, done. We rebooted, again issues, no problem. I lay everything black again and uh, an underscore and I said, and then suddenly I had a control alt F1, F2. As I never could go to TTY. It was the cursor in, in the top here was flashing. And I felt like it was trying to do something and trying to run something and then failed and came back and tried again and failed and came back and tried again. And I started pressing control alt F1, F2, F3. I've never been able to do that. And suddenly I saw something. Light display manager, a red line up here. Light display manager is not starting. Now I've made many videos saying, hey, it's, it's never gonna be light EM. <laughs> what do you know? This is Plasma. Normally Plasma expects SDDM. And I said, let's have a look. That's, that's the first thing I did really. And I went inside uh, CD ETC LightDM in here and I checked out the code and you see what I've done you see here a light.conf Eric and one from them them being I made a move let's do it huh? I moved lightm.conf to lightm.conf Eric and so I'm, I'm gonna call it Eric with two k's now and then it's out of the way so our configuration is gone. Then maybe it might be, and the reason LightM might be wrong, needs an update or is wrong installed or whatever. The config is not okay. So that's okay. This, this strange line, we are indeed on a read only file system. Eh? We are a live system. But did something change? We have LightM conf, Eric, and Eric with two Ks. So I compared these two files and there was only one difference between them. Not enough to be alarmed, but we said, hey, let's give it a try. So this one and that one, this is what I copied now. This is what I did to solve it, right? I did a compare and I saw a few lines. This line, seat, seems to be a new, uh, seems to be old. That's true, eh? old. Lightm.conf is coming from the package this is coming from us so seat is no longer needed okay fine and some references and names but in the end I said this looks good I did change I did try to to add I think this one here but no it was not that but like I said this control alt f1 f3 I saw something about lightium I did do the reinstall of lightium so I was okay, pretty sure that this is okay. This is the version I need. But I thought, let's see if I have SDDM. What if I switched? And there is a video of an article 
uh, about it as well. Let's see if Google finds it. How to switch from Lightium to SEDM. Arco Linux switch Lightium SDM. Okay, you agree. How to switch from Lightium to SDM starting and we are, we're off, right? How to change the display manager from Lightium to GDM, I think it's called here. And here it's SDM. So the knowledge is there. It's actually super simple. Yeah, I know. No. <laughs> so it is already installed. I did install it again, just to be sure. Let me take that one. Just put it on silent. Probably the missus saying coming home. But that's how it goes, right? Otherwise, it would be a sixth attempt to do it. Light DM. <sighs> Sorry, guys. Okay. Luckily, she isn't saying anything. <laughs> so, my other attempt to make the video. Uh, SDM. How to enable SDM? It's already installed, and that's the only thing you need to know and remember for the rest of your day. SDM, sorry, enable SDM, and that's it. I enabled it. You can say enable servers or something like that. That's all. Yes, it's the mistress. Oh my god, what a rubbish video this will be. Anyway, not a six attempt, guys. Sorry, but what you need to do is a minus F because Lightium is there, right? Let's let's do this again. If I enable Lightium, then it says failed to enable unit. Failed. Read it. Failed. Minus F with force. Created sim link. So it's basically the same thing I have to do again. SDM, you're in control. Minus F, go for it. And this was the fix for me. I tried it again, boot it up, and there you go. I had again my plasma. What I did not have was a nice, beautiful login manager. SDM is nice, but we have, anyway, our SDM team git. I've installed that later on and I said please use that and now we have a coffee you'll see if you install it uh, well we could have a look right and then restart and then call my wife back <laughs> there she is again impatient impatient silence again I want to boot and show you the SSD M Login of Plasma. Then I'll stop. There you go. Right? That's that's our choice. This is the SDM that I've activated. Oh, sorry. One more thing. Where do you activate this? Control Alt W M. There we go again. Okay. <laughs> Still quiet. <laughs> Ali, everything away, and it's gonna be in the startup, I think. Arco Linux, apply, and that's it. And it's applied. All right, guys, this is how you fix your computer, one of the ways, but it's all about study, knowledge, and a little bit boldness, right? Try it, try it, uh, but it doesn't have to be today. All right, stopping here now.